Together, we've seen some incredible homes and unique places. We've visited lively cities, calming suburbs, and breathtaking estates. But in this episode, we find ourselves somewhere this show hasn't been before. Today, we're in Hatabirsport, touring a truly remarkable home that is sure to take your breath away. My name is Chad Riveros, and this is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Anthony, thank you and C for Hearty so much for having us. But tell me a little bit about this home. All right, Chad, welcome at the Highlands Estate. This place is awesome. This home is 19 million. It's got four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and under roof, it's 629 squares. That sounds incredible. And tell me a little bit about the unique features. The unique features on this home, Chad, is it's a corner property on the canal. Mm. And what makes it nice is this entire house, the living area, has got glass stacker doors that opens up right around so you do not feel boxed in. And it leaves you with amazing views. It is beautiful. I cannot wait to explore this incredible home. Welcome home. Thank you so much. And here we are inside this incredible 19 million rand, four bedroom, four and a half bathroom home. There's so much to talk about, but let's start off with that outside deck. It is expansive with not only a fire pit, but also multiple different seating arrangements for you to enjoy. And then the killer feature, over six kilometers of canal for you to float down in the boat of your choice, sipping wine and living the good life. One of my favorite personal features about this deck area is the fact that there's a sliding screen Screen door because living in Hartis, you know you want to enjoy that indoor outdoor living and that sliding screen door make sure the mozzies don't kill you that screen door leads into our indoor outdoor area because this right here is effectively your bar so you've got under counter storage over counter storage a built-in bar fridge prep sink with water filtration and then this right here which is your dining room table which services this area and why would you be using this dining room table well for this year, of course, a built-in braai area, one of South Africa's favorite pastimes, and it is completely and utterly smokeless. One of my favorite features from this area has to be that over there, your built-in clock. It doesn't show you the time, well, it tells you it in actual words. I think it's such a cool and funky addition to this area. And now over here, your lounging area, linked together by this stunning chandelier. But this is the place where you're gonna sit down, relax, and be informal. Enjoy the look that you have in front of you, the view, not only of the mountains, and I do stand to be corrected, I believe it's the Michalisberg Mountains, but of this incredible canal. You can hear the planes cruising overhead. You know you're somewhere special. Again, another beautiful chandelier, a recessed wall behind me, catering for TVs of all sizes. This home is all about magnificent views. On my left hand side, a canal, and on my right hand side, sliding stackable glass doors open up onto a pool area that is surrounded, that is encapsulated by this home, making any single area an area that you want to spend time in.
Then between the kitchen and the lounge suites, you find your formal dining room area, a large space dominated by a beautiful chandelier, really allowing you to entertain and still speak to your guests. But when talking entertainment, nothing screams entertainment louder than this beautiful center island made out of two different tones of Caesar stone. Underneath it, you've got plenty of undercounter storage as well as on my right and left. But then one of the coolest things is your walk-in fridge just off to my right, right next to it. You have your very own chef's sink. And behind me, a five-top gas burner made by Whirlpool, serviced by an extractor fan made out of stainless steel just above it, keeping everything classy. But when you're asking me, Chad, where are the ovens? Where's my fridge? Well, that is all in the scullery, and we're gonna check that out right now. Everything else you need to complete your kitchen is tucked away behind the beautiful pocket door. As you walk in, you're greeted by two DeFi ovens that fulfill all your baking desires. The scullery also has ample cupboard space for all your dry goods, a spot for the dishwasher, and a double sink. And if you're wondering where your wash and dryer are, they're in their very own laundry room, just behind the scullery. And now with the living areas out of the way, it's time to talk very quickly about this reception area. On my right hand side, we have a real three-story glass window showcasing this incredible pool, as well as framing picturesquely the mountains that only Hartis can really give you a view of. On my left hand side, we've got a staircase leading upstairs to the bedroom areas. And then right over here, we have that half bathroom that we're gonna take a look at very quickly. back where every other video starts, the front door. Your front door is all glass construction, really lets in a lot of light, but brings a bit of majesty to the entrance of this home, letting you look all the way through down to the canal. But coming down this way, we've got a full glass hallway leading off to the first bedroom, and this bedroom is serviced right by the pool. If we talk spa living, this is the bedroom for you. Here we are within the first bedroom of this incredible home here in Hartis. So this bedroom, what makes it unique to me has to be these sliding stackable glass doors that lead directly out on the deck in front of your pool. But this bedroom also comes with a whole host of other features that I find really unique. One, your beautiful lighting arrangements, this chandelier above me, it is serviced by an aircon and has plenty of space, not only for a king bed, but also for an entertainment suite. You can sit down here and entertain your guests inside, or you can head outdoors on your deck and have some drinks with friends. Behind me, however, has to be a walk-in closet as well as your very own ensuite bathroom, and it's time to check both of those out. Coming through your hallway, you have plenty of cupboard space as well as a built-in desk that comprises the majority of your walk-in closet. But talking about walk-in, we have a spacious shower on my right-hand side and double vanities as well as beautiful undercounter storage on my left. But what takes the cake when I mention spa living in terms of this bedroom has to be this freestanding bath right over here, directly in front of a private window, making you look out onto the green lush garden that only homes in this area could have. But that does wrap up this room, and I think those stairs are calling our name. And 
here we are finally on this split staircase, sprayed stone, really, really nice stainless steel railings. And then something I have to mention is this right over here, a gorgeous draped chandelier, making it the centerpiece of this. But behind me, we have two rooms, and then on that landing right in front of me is your master suite. Let's start over here and make our way to the ending over there. As we enter the first upstairs wing, you've got a perfectly placed linen cupboard, so none of the bedroom's built-in cupboards get cluttered. The first room of this wing is currently being used as a gym, and with views like these, who wouldn't want to work out here? But, of course, with a built-in cupboard space and the ensuite bathroom, this room can easily be converted into another guest room. The next room is just as impressive as the room downstairs, with one extra feature. Like all the rooms in this house, it has aircon and an ensuite bathroom with double vanity and spacious shower. But what makes this room so special is the access to the upstairs balcony. As you step out, you're greeted with the sounds of nature and absolutely spectacular views. And here we have it, a really conveniently placed study area. It is cozy here. I love where they've put it off. Two armchairs, carpet, and then a built-in desk with a window just above it, overlooking your canals, and also overlooking the beautiful entranceway of this incredible home. But just off to my right is what we've all waited to see, the master suite. And it's time, ladies and gentlemen, come with me. Coming into your master suite, the first thing that takes your breath away, without a doubt, are these incredible views, not only of your lush greenery, the wilderness, but that mountain really does look like it belongs on a picture frame somewhere in this house. This balcony also affords you views of your downstairs pool. You are living in the lap of luxury, and this home never lets you forget it. But before we go too far into this master suite, let's talk about the master bathroom. Making your way there, you walk through this area, which is your walk-in closet. All three walls, we could even say four walls, are lined with cupboard space. So all your fancy goods are taken care of. But moving a bit forward, we are now in the master bathroom. There's so much to talk about here. One of the two things you'll probably notice first is this enormous shower on my left hand side or on my right we have this majestic tub tilting all the way up again allowing you to sit in the lap of luxury open up these blinds and you've got unobstructed views of the canal from one full story up but the rest of this bathroom is kind of split in his and hers we've got a vanity in front of me another one behind me separate storage spaces as well as and something we haven't seen before separate toilets very very cool bathroom but we've still got the rest of that master suite to go through and i think it's time And then here we are back in the master suite, plenty of space, incredible views. We've mentioned the ones behind me. Well, you've got another one right in front of you. 
this massive patio area that overlooks the canal and really who doesn't want a space where you can relax in your bed and have nothing but breathtaking views. Unfortunately, we have now come to the end of this episode of the Home Shopper Show, but I must say not many homes encapsulate nature like this home right here or any home in Hartis. So let's do a quick recap of what we've seen today. This home has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and it is on the market for 19 million rand. If you'd like to become the next owner of this incredible home, what I'd like you to do is contact Anthony Marshall from Seif Hartis. And a huge thank you goes out to Seif as well as Anthony for allowing us to tour and showcase this home in all of its natural beauty. But if you'd like to see what other homes South Africa has to offer, and these homes are spectacular. What I'd like you to do is like, follow, share and subscribe to the Private Property Facebook and YouTube channel as well as check out all the other incredible shows we have on offer. But the Home Shopper Show is every Friday with myself, Chad Riveros, and I can't wait to see you all there. Thank you so much and goodbye.